Okay, a little video flip through of some of the projects that I've made using the new Eileen Hull pocket notebook die coming in October. I'm so excited. So these are just a few of the, the things that I've made. I'll do a couple different videos to show them. And this is kind of just a standard width for the spine, overlapping it for about an inch and an eighth you know, width. So I'll flip through these three one at the time. I did this one with kind of a rustic Christmas paper, so I kept it real simple. I used other Sizzix dies to decorate the pages and the covers. So on the inside, I did this snowman attached to my little short pocket here, just to give a little more width to the pocket and to keep it real simple. So there's one on the front and back inside cover. Then I did my stacked spine page mechanism for the spine section and then added some fold out pages and then used some of the smaller Sizzix die cuts to become little tuck spot corners on the pages. Here I wanted, I didn't want to do away with all of the red plaid, so I just added a pocket here and then still had the full page here with just the little star tuck spot. This page I left like it was just because I liked the paper. And then the center opens up and there's the little trees. And then the rest of the book just repeats itself to the back. So that was the one with a Christmas theme that I did. And then y'all know I can't do nothing with her dies without creating a cookbook or recipe book of sorts. So this is her doily and I cut it in half and then attached it to both sides of the layering element. I bumped it up on the foam squares. This was just a piece that was in the, I think the front cover of the paper collection. I think I used papers from like three different collections. And then I ribbed the spine just because I like that look to kind of make it look a little more vintage. And her alphabet letters. And then one of my little accordion pockets and some other kitchen themed dies. This is the large mason jar or canning jar from Eileen's canning jar set. And I bought some of these little guest check things, and I thought that was so cute to use as a recipe card. Because all of the background papers in my recipe book are actually pages from old recipe books that I used to cover the base cardstock. This is her Garden Gate album, the, the little fence piece. And then I just added some die-cut pumpkins, and this is her grass. This was a wide belly band page because I wanted to keep the little canisters intact. And then I just made a simple fold over to slip under that. Here, same thing. Wanted to keep the little pattern paper intact, so I just made a simple pocket. The Sizzix Mixing Bowl, the old red one that has the split, makes an adorable pocket for recipe books. These are Eileen's teacup and coffee mug with spoon, or mug with spoon. And so, I had these die-cut words that said, but first coffee. And I thought that was cute to put on the background of that page. And I made the pages just as tuck spot type pages. So, it's easy to get the recipe cards in and out. This is from her sugar dish and creamer set. But I'm calling it a casserole dish since the page title was chicken casseroles. This is from her mixing bowl set and it's the one that has the little spout and handle. Her button jars. I love to use those in recipe books because I use a lot of jars and things that I do in my kitchen. The other mixing bowl from the mixing bowl set and I added one of the spoon handles from her little baby jar and spoon set and I just thought that was adorable to kind of raise the height of the page and balance it out. This is the creamer from the creamer and sugar dish set but I wanted it to be a lemonade pitcher so I just did the lemon die cut here and then added another one as a corner tuck spot page here. 
and then this is the small canning jar on that page and then just a simple reverse waterfall for more recipes on the back and this one is an art journal I have done an art journal of some sort using all of Eileen's dyes at one time or another so I made the base of the book and then just added watercolor paper to all of the sections so that then artwork could be done directly on the surfaces. I did my stacked spine pages in this configuration for the watercolor journal pages and then added these pockets made from policy envelopes to hold extra cards for working on the back side of the good side of the watercolor page so you could still attach another painting to it throughout the book and then just folded them up so I didn't have to cut the pocket or the envelope off and made just little short pockets for some smaller cards to go in. So these are the first three in a line of journals that I've made using the new Eileen Hull pocket notebook die.